What's up ladies and gents, so a couple of weeks ago I made a video about players who lied about their age, and one of those players I mentioned was Ursan Ilyasova, a person who I and some other people believe actually faked his entire identity. Since this story seems pretty interesting, I thought I'd make a video covering everything we know about this Ursan Ilyasova situation so far. So to get started, I'm sure most of you already know who Ilyasova is. He's a player from Turkey and also played for the Turkish national team as well. In the NBA, he spent most of his years playing for the Milwaukee Bucks. Then he bounced around the league a couple of times and most recently played for the Atlanta Hawks. He's been a good, solid role player for his entire career, averaging 11 points and 6 rebounds per game. Now onto the story. Ilyasova's identity controversy was brought into light in 2005 from a writer who covers draft prospects. Ilyasova's listed birthday of May 15th, 1987 is apparently incorrect because he's actually born in 1984 and he's not the person he says he is. The theory is that Ursan Ilyasova is actually someone by the name of Arsen Ilyasov, a man who was born in 1984 in Uzbekistan and used to play for the Uzbekish Basketball League. In 2002, Arsen Ilyasov was 18 years old and crossed the border from Uzbekistan to Turkey. But after he arrived in Turkey, he just disappeared out of nowhere. And all of the documents about this guy, Arsen Ilyasov, vanished as well. Then one month later in Turkey, a random person went to the Turkish authorities and told them that he forgot to register the citizenship of his 15-year-old son. He registered him under the name Ersan Ilyasova and changed his birth year to 1987 during the process, probably so that he can play basketball in the younger age groups. I know this theory might seem crazy at first, but there's been evidence over the years suggesting that this really happened. In an article from a Turkish daily news website, which has recently been deleted for some reason, it stated that the Uzbekish Basketball Federation filed a complaint towards FIBA, claiming that Ersan Ilyasova is actually an Uzbekish basketball player. They claim that he is not from Turkey, nor should he be allowed to play for Turkey. But unfortunately, FIBA rejected them because they did not have enough evidence. Still, it makes sense why Ilyasova's family would want to escape Uzbekistan in the first place. The Islamic movement there started in the late 90s with the goal of overthrowing the current government, and the country faced a ton of armed violence and political turmoil in the early 2000s. It wouldn't be surprising at all if they had to change their name and age so they don't get caught after leaving the country. In addition to this controversy with FIBA, another piece of evidence that supports this theory is Ilyasova's name. Now, I'm not an expert on this topic, so feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. His surname has two parts to it, Ilyas and Ova. Ilyas is most common in Turkish-speaking countries like Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan, but it does not originate from Turkey itself. The second part, Ova, is usually supposed to be for females. Suffixes like Ova and Eva are for females while Av and Ev are supposed to be for males. And guess what, his original surname was Ilyasov, which should be the correct way to spell his actual name. To me, the evidence seems pretty clear that Ersan Ilyasova is indeed the same person as Arsen Ilyasov, the guy who crossed the border into Turkey in 2002 and then was never heard from again. So that means Ilyasova is not only 3 years older than what he's listed at, but he's also supposedly a completely different person. And that's all the information I have about this topic. What do you guys think of this theory? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.